Hey guys, I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the popular service in GCP, Google Cloud Platform called Cloud Big Table. So in this video, we will be looking how to create a Cloud Big Table instance using console and we are going to deal with that instance using the command line tool called CBT. So we will be seeing how to use CBT, how to create rows, uh, column families, how to list all the tables, all the column families and how to delete the cluster, how to delete the instance, everything using command line tool itself. So I hope the objective is clear and without any further delay, let's get started. So to start with, to begin with, we will be seeing what is Cloud Big Table. I will be giving a quick introduction. So Cloud Big Table is Google's NoSQL Big Data Services. It is NoSQL's uh, Big Data Service and many Google core services like uh, analytics google maps and gmail are still working on top of cloud big table so big table is designed to handle massive workload at consistent low latency and high throughput so it is a cluster based service and uh, it uh, it has very low latency and it is also used for many choices like for both operational and analytical workloads applications including iot sensors user analytics financial data analysis and basically we will be using big table for building any time series based model so we will be seeing in other video what is cloud big table uh, what is the difference between cloud big table and cloud big query what are the ideal use cases where we will be using cloud big table all those things we will be seeing in much detail in the upcoming videos and i'll be explaining you what is the how to create the console like how to create an instance big table instance also using console here I'll here the purpose for this video it is how to use CBT that is command line tool to interact with that instance which is created. So uh, we will be using Cloud Shell as you know Cloud Shell is a virtual machine that is loaded with uh, uh, development tools and it has storage of 5 GB uh, persistence memory on and it runs on top of the Google Cloud. So the objective is we will how to see how we will be using CBT command line tool to connect to the cloud big table instance, perform basic administrative task and read and write data in the big table. So to begin with, I'll be opening uh, my cloud com uh, cloud console. This is my Google cloud console and I'll be switching into this professional data engineer demo project. And inside this navigation menu, if you come down, scroll down under databases, you will be finding big table. So this is the instance uh, big table, which we are going to use uh, which uh, which i'm going to create uh, i'll be not explaining much in depth of how to create an instance so for the, for now i'll just uh, give a demo name so instance name is big table instance this is my instance name an instance id will be automatically populated and the storage type will be uh, ssd uh, we in later point of video we will see what is ssd what is hdd all those things in region, I'll, since I'm very close to um, Mumbai, I'll be selecting Asia Southwest and I'll be using A as my primary zone. Rest all the other things are scheme. Uh, rest all the other things I'm giving uh, giving it as as uh, default itself and just I'm creating an instance. So it will take only less than 5 seconds to create an instance, like 5 to 10 seconds. That's it. Between that time, our instance will be ready and it will be uh, up. So here you can see. So the instance is ready. So it took less than 15 to 20 seconds. Now I'll click on my activate cloud shell. So this is the instance here. Uh, I'll open on this new tab. So I'll be back here. So here you can see what is the instance idea, all the details here. And under tables, like uh, there is no tables. We will we can create tables from UI and we will can create tables from con, uh, CLI. We will be seeing how to create table from CLI, how to create column families, row keys, uh, like insert values into record, how to read that record from that particular table, all those things we will be seeing those things. And we will be seeing how to export and uh, how to import using data flow job. Later point, we will be seeing all those points. Now I am into this uh, project. So I'll be just copying my project ID. So copy this inside this cloud shell, you can give G cloud config set project project ID so to start with 
so i instead of this region i have given uh, asia uh, southern so uh, it's so it's it's now mine the first thing is in cloud shell configure cbt to use your project so we will be configuring uh, uh, cbt to use this particular project for that i'll be just giving this echo project on uh, whatever the project which is present there i'll be writing into the cbt rc file so we will i'll show you what is there present so echo instance is the current instance name as well we will be not using this but uh, in next video or uh, in other video i'll tell you i'll explain you what is the main use why we are using this things i'll i'll be explaining those things so first thing is to get the to see what is the version involved like to see the version you can use cbt version so the version in this cloud shell is 0 0.120 and at the end like the latest update time it was done on uh, 23rd march 2022 and uh, if you wanted to get help in this document you can use this uh, a help document as well cbt help so what are the different commands so there will be for example to create cluster C cbt create cluster if you wanted to help you can give help on this okay that is some wrong with it sorry cbt help create cluster cbt help and the command name is create cluster so here you can give cluster id zone number of nodes storage type you can create cluster from here as well so which we will be doing it now for example you can take this cbt create cluster my instance those things you can copy those things and paste the exact same thing so echo, sorry not this one you can copy this cbt create cluster my instance copy this and just paste this so the cluster instance name is my instance iphone c2 and uh, that is cluster id and europe west one that is the zone and number of nodes is three and that storage type is ssd so we will see that in next point of view like already there is one cluster running we will be using those cluster itself to create table all those things so you can use this cbt help and whatever the com uh, commands like for example create cluster create instance create table create family for example we will see create family so cbt help and paste that create table so what is it you can see here families and splits example cbt create table uh, the table name this is mobile time series is the table name and families what is the maximum uh, 10 days the maximum version it, it allows only one version on that so all the other details here we can see it like we will be seeing that in depth in detail in the other videos uh, in this video it is just falling out of scope so we will be not going in depth on those things but obviously yeah we will be seeing we will be going through that each and every command uh, uh, in depth also so cbt doc to view the documentation and to list the instances we will be using cbt list instances so if i give cbt list instances you, you, we will get all the instances available for example the current instance which is running is big table instances so cbt list clusters to list all the clusters available in that particular instance so we will have only one cluster particular list cluster big table instance cluster one the zone is asia south one a and it is at currently in active state so now we will see how to read and write data so cloud big table stores data in the form of tables though it follows table structure it is similar with other sql databases so we will have each row uh, which has an identified by uh, identified it as an by a row key so every row will be you will be having a unique row key so based on that row only row key only we will be able to identify the rows in uh, in big table so for example first we will see how to create a table so i'll be creating a table named my table so cbt create table my table so if you don't know what does that table uh, is like cbt help and create table here you can see family splits cbt create table all those things now we will copy this command and just execute here copy it and paste it here cbt create table so it is creating it yeah it got created now if you see here that there is no table just refresh this we will be able to see my table so just click on this my table and here you can see uh, the monitoring it doesn't have anything right now and it is under this instance big table instance c1 asia south one and there is no backup has been created yet if you wanted to edit the table you can edit it 
so if you wanted to add column families all those things you can do it from here as well so we have created one table instance here and we'll go here and we'll copy it so if you wanted to uh, list the tables for example here i am creating uh, just click on this tables we can add one more table from this uh, UA console itself like table id my table one if you wanted you can add column family as well so column family is cf1 no, not cf1 cf100 so just create on it just create it and yes so within a less than five seconds we have created one more uh, table as well so just you can place it here cbt ls here you can find list of table my table which we i created using console sorry this i created using console this i created using a cli command so next we wanted to create a family a column family so cbt create family my table the column family is cf1 the way which i created cf under the, the same way i will be creating cf1 in under my table so the same thing so i am creating uh, two column families to list all those things cbt my table ls okay so there is some cbt ls my table the current command is cbt ls my table here you can see two column families cf1 cf2 the gc policy doesn't have any gc uh, gc policy like we will talk about those gc policies in upcoming videos so for now like there are two column fam like two column families present inside this my table so the next thing is how to insert value into that particular uh, column family for that we will be using this set command so if you want if you don't know what to set cbt help set here you can see what is like set what um, like for this the command is like this cbt set the table id what is the row key row key should be always a string and it should be unique uh, unique uh, in the table itself so cbt set the table name the row key is r1 and cf1 c1 test value so here you can see cbt set my table i can paste it here so here you can see i am uh, i already told you this will uh, like row key will be always unique but when when i am adding multiple values to that single row key because big table is nothing but it is an key value pair uh, white column key value pair where it can have only one single key and n number of nested values associated to that particular key we can see that uh, by viewing it like uh, in a moment we will see those things so i am just creating another row key and i am just inserting value as final value so cf1 and i have created one two row keys r1 and r2 and i have created two column families not two column families only one single column family and two columns in that so now we can list what is the table so to do it cbt read my table so copy this cbt read my table here if you see this is the row key r1 is the row key r2 is the row key and we have two one column family under two columns like cf1 is the column family c1 and c2 are the columns present inside this column family at the same way r2 is a row key cf1 is the column family c1 and c2 are the columns in like if you see there is a map associated to it like with the row key with the column family and the respective timestamp which we have inserted into this table so there is a map will be associated with this row key all the time like even if i execute one more record also for example the same way i am um, i'll execute one more table test one so if you see 10 14 11 23 if i execute this here you can see the three column three rows here c2 2022 10 14 this one So the next thing is, we if you wanted to count what are the number of records present inside the table, you can always do CBT count my table. So totally we have five five records, R1 and R2. Here if you see CBT count my table. So it it has two row keys, R1 and R2. So that is why we are getting two counts. If I add one more record also, for example, um, 
just i'll do this so based on the row key we will get the count not on the total uh, values presented so here we will get three records so that's it and now we will see um, how to delete that instance how to delete the table how to delete the cluster using cbt for deleting the table we'll use cbt delete table my table delete table my table so before that cbt help delete table so cbt delete table table id so just paste it cbt delete table my table and cbt ls we will have only one so we will delete this cbt delete table my table one so we have already deleted all the records so if you wanted to delete all the rows all the rows in the sense like r1 r2 r3 you can use this if you wanted to delete a column family um, I have already deleted the table itself. If you wanted to delete the column family, you can use CBT delete family respective table name and uh, respective column family name like CF2, CF1, whatever it is we have created. If you wanted to delete cluster from the configured instance, like if you wanted to delete the cluster, if you see we have one cluster running, right? Uh, if you go in the overview page, you can see the cluster ID. If you wanted to delete this cluster, you can delete this cluster. CBT delete cluster. You can delete this cluster error code fail pre can cannot delete the last live cluster so since this is the last live cluster we will be not able to delete it but we can delete the instance itself like cbt delete instance so cbt delete cluster is when we have one or more cluster only we will be able to use it or else we will be not able to use it like we can delete the instance cbt delete instance big table iphone instance itself so we have deleted that instance itself and I have given the reference documentation for CBT. So this is just a basic command which we have started with. But in upcoming videos, I'll explain you all this. Like I'll try to create a new case and I'll try to explain you each and every individual condition like uh, commands. We will be able to execute it. So create instance, create cluster, all those things. We will be able to see it then in this particular playlist, in this particular cloud uh, um, cloud big table playlist so as you see i have deleted that instance as well so that's it so you can find this document you can find this command you can find this documentation in my github page i will add that link in the uh, uh, command session or in the description session as well please take a look at it uh, i hope you learn something new from this video um, i'll meet you in the next video with interesting content uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and if you have any doubt or any question please post that in the comment session i'll reply i'll as soon as possible i'll meet you in the next video with interesting content on google cloud platform uh, until then it's bye from witness happy learning take care